Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about while loop. First of all, syntax of while loop. As we have already discussed that every loop control has three parts, initialization, termination condition, and increment or decrement. So in case of while loop, all three parts are also available. So now I am going to uh, explain you the cycle of while loop. First statement will be initialization. After initialization, second statement will be condition checking. If condition is true, then control enters inside the loop for statement evaluation. So we can say that it is a third part of the loop. After execution of statement, control transfers to increment or decrement. It can be said fourth step of the loop. After successful increment or decrement operation, control again transfers to the condition checking. If condition is true, then uh, again loop rotates, otherwise loop will be terminated. So we can say that initialization is only one time process and condition, statement and increment decrement uh, continuously uh, repeats so that we can uh, execute certain set of instructions and number of times. Let's understand uh, while loop with the help of a program. Uh, in this slide, the program uh, which is ex explained is sum of individual digits of n digit number. So in this program, user can enter a number which can contain any number of digits. For example, 123, it contains three digits. 1234, it contains four digits. So if, we, if user enters a particular number, this program will identify sum of all the digits. For example, number is 123. So output will be 6. That is 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals to 6. So I am taking uh, the example. Number is 123. So n is equals to 123. So we can say that this printer for scanf will read this uh, number from the user. Now we have to check the execution cycle of while loop. As we can see, uh, we can say that we are using a variable n which is already initialized with the value 123. Now in while uh, loop we are checking a condition which is n equal n greater than zero. So if n a value of n is greater than zero, then only it uh, this loop will repeat. Otherwise, it will be terminated. So first time the condition is true. So we ha we have to check the very first step of this loop, that is n modulus 10. So n modulus 10 means 123 modulus 10. So uh, we can directly say that if we uh, divide a particular number with 10. So remainder will be always last digit of the number. So value of a becomes 3. Now second step is s equals to s plus a. So initially s is 0 and a is 3. So the value of s becomes 3. So initially it was 0 but now value of s is Three. The last step of loop is n equals to n by 10. So current value of n is 123. If we divide 123 by 10, so divide operation provides quotient value. So the quotient value of this operation will be 12. So the current value of n is 12. Now if we check the condition of loop, n is greater than 0. So n is 12, which is greater than 0. Again, we have to calculate n modulus 10. So 12 modulus 10. So remainder will be 2. So we can cut 3 and we can write 2. Now s plus a. Uh, you can see that last value of s is 3 and current value of a is 2. So the latest value of s will be 5. Then n equals to n by 10. n is 12. 12 upon 10 equals to 1. So 1 is again greater than 0. So 
so we have to check n modulus 10 n is 1 1 modulus 10 we are uh, trying to divide lesser number with a greater number so modulus will be 1 so value of a now becomes 1 then s plus a last value of s is 5 and current value of a is 1 so s plus a now becomes 6 now we have to divide n by 10 n is 1 1 by 10 equals to 0 so now value of a value of n is 0 so we can say that in this scenario this condition will be false so in this case the uh, rotation cycle of loop gets terminated now after completion of loop this printf statement will display the value of s which is 6 so output of this program will be 6 so as we can uh, see that the input was 123 and output is 6 so this program uh, clearly justify that uh, if you want to uh, add the digits of a particular number we can use while loop this is another example which says reverse of n digit number uh, as we can uh, see that in previous program we have added all the digits of n digit number so by changing this statement we are going to print reverse of a number all other statements are same as previous program but in this statement we have multiplied the previous value of s by 10 and we have added the new value of a inside the expression so uh, you have to check the uh, process of while loop as uh, i discussed in the previous program so you can easily identify the value of s here are some practice work for you uh, in this first program is to check whether a number is palindrome or not i think you uh, must know about the palindrome word palindrome means if we uh, read a number from user we have to check that the reverse of uh, this number is equal to original number or not so you can easily uh, take the logic of uh, a program which calculate reverse of a number so that you can uh, uh, take help of that program to solve the uh, palindrome problem next one is to check whether a number is armstrong or not armstrong numbers are those in which we have to calculate cubes of all the digits available in a number if sum of all the cubes is equal to the original number then that number is armstrong for example 153 is armstrong number because if you calculate cube of 1 cube of 5 and cube of 3 and uh, then you add all the cubes you will uh, find out the value 153 next you have to find out the output so you can see that uh, there are two variables c is 0 and n is 1 2 3 4 as uh, discussed earlier we can easily uh, trace uh, this while loop so that we can identify the value of c so first we have to check condition condition is n greater than 0 which is true then statement is c plus plus so first time value of c becomes 1 then n equals to n by 10 so n is 1 2 3 4 now its value will be right 123 so uh, first rot rotation of loop is completed now again loop checks a uh, condition n greater than 0 which is true so again c++ will takes place so it uh, it it will uh, do the value of uh, uh, c by 1 to 2 then n equals to n by 10 so n becomes 12 in second rotation then again condition checking n greater than 0 which is true so again c++ plus plus, so c becomes 3 and n by 10 so n becomes 1 again if we check the condition it is true so c becomes 4 and if we do n by 10 so value of n will be 
so now if we check the condition then condition is false if we print the value of c using this printf statement so you can easily say that value of c is 4 so if i ask what is the question of this program you can easily say that this program identifies number of digits in a number so with the help of this logic you can uh, or you can solve uh, the uh, below problem which says read a n digit number and find out largest and smallest digits so for example if we take a number 1 2 3 4 so largest digit will be 4 and smallest digit will be 1 so do practice of uh, this program so that you can learn the working of while you thank you